The Journal looked into Jamie Lomazny here at Boys Home, and there's a special twist to uh, the children's uh, Missoula Theater uh, this morning because four of the players are Jamie's kids. And this, this is a delightful uh, turn of events. Jamie, you have some experience with theater uh, a few years ago. Tell the public, what was that experience? Yes, so I actually was um, had the opportunity to be in the very first Missoula theater play here in Covington, Virginia. In 1995, they did Alice in Wonderland and was able to go and try out as a kid and be in that play for the week. And then the next year was able to come back and do Johnny Appleseed in 1996. So, great experience. You know, I'm not sure that members of the public really realize how much kids get out of theater. I mean, can you talk a little bit about, you know, what did you learn? What were your experiences uh, with this uh, special event? Yeah, I think oftentimes kids, you know, um, with adults, they're often to be, you know, to be quiet and to, you know, to be in the background. Um, but this experience, you get to be front stage, be in center, and the attention's on you. Um, it gives you confidence, it gives you um, a spirit to, to be somebody else for a week and to have that control and to kind of have the imagination to be a different character um, is fun and it gives kids confidence to just be able to speak publicly and um, make new friends um, and just have a great, uh, a great week and being able to do something fun. How in the world do kids this age remember their lines and, and plus all the gesticulations and the acting, I mean, it's, it's some kind of an immersion for, what, a whole week at that particular time? Right. I give a lot of credit to Missoula Theater and the directors that come in. They're very trained and very equipped with how they um, work with these kids. You know, they see kids of all different experiences and all different backgrounds, and they're able to work with each one individually. Um, giving them encouragement. Um, it's really fun to watch my kids now and just remembering the past experiences that I've had. Um, and it's just, you know, you just have this smile on your face all week as you watch them. And, and they do, they memorize these, these, uh, the script and, and go through the songs. It's, it's fun. Well, it was a few years ago. Did you use any of the um, acting later on? Sure, yeah. I continued to act in high school um, and, and further on um, we do things in our church now where I'm in front um, and am able to do some plays with our kids youth group now and I've directed some plays with our church so that's been a lot of fun. Um, Which church is that? Yes, Covington Bible Church. Okay. So that's been a lot of fun. We just recently did a, a Christmas play so that's been that was fun to be able to go in and, and act again and well, and I guess this is proof positive of public speaking experience does matter. That's right. Yes, I, I, when I was working, I took a job with public relations, so I was able to be out in front of the camera and do interviews, so that's helped tremendously. So this is a lifetime of, of um, learning and just something that they're going to use forever. Thanks very much for speaking with us. Oh, no problem. Thank you. It was my pleasure.